What? What's going on here? How come there's a road on my property? And somebody's excavating it like they're gonna set a house here or something. This isn't right. Where'd this come from? How'd this hole get here? What have you been doing? You just go dig random holes? Is there any purpose to this hole? That's it. Yeah. You wanted to see if you can do it. Yeah. What are you doing now? Pretty much. Uh, my tractor sprung a leak. A leak in what? Probably a cylinder. So I'm gonna try to fix it. I'm gonna hold that. Turn down the wind. So I'm gonna have to pull it over there and rest the bucket on the hill, I think. A van just pulled in here. A van? A van. I don't know who it is. Nope. 
mom showed up to check, oil to check on the, the beast. To, um, um, but you can bring some out. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm replacing the wiper seal out of the end of these cylinders on both sides, the uh, up and down part of the bucket. So I went to EPS.com, it was uh, uh, equipment parts source, and looked around on their website and they had everything uh, apparently that I needed for for this particular tractor. Um, pretty easily navigated website, so hopefully it is the right one. You know how it always goes with old equipment, but so working on driving this pin out. I'm just going to push it through enough to drop this cylinder down. I've already taken a chisel uh, since I don't have a spanner wrench. I took a chisel and a hammer and couple of the holes up front just to knock it loose. It didn't, didn't take too much to break it loose, so uh, once I get that down, I can go ahead and just start turning that off and start pulling all the seal material out. And it comes with a couple pieces of plastic, um, pipe seals. Um, one of them is kind of like a little plastic Coiled up snap ring type deal, some O rings, a um, couple pieces of uh, fiber gasketing, um, the S type wiper seals and stuff. And it's Bulldog brand. So, supposed to be good. We'll see what happens. But. Took one, the, the, the line off that goes to the down force end of the cylinder to put down on the packing that's down inside of here. Um, that way there's no pressure up on this end, and I know there's no pressure on this end, otherwise it would have started pushing this cylinder up out of whack. But we are going to be cautious just in case. I have the, the bucket resting on the hillside here. So, yep, see it drop down. <coughs> that means there's no pressure on it. And it's free from the pin, so we can just do this. I didn't want to hit the pin itself with the hammer because it does have a grease irk and I could have pulled it out, but I really don't have all of my tools out here with me, so. Unfortunately, I don't have the proper spanner wrench, so I'm having to redneck it. I'm going to be swimming in hydraulic oil pretty soon. There's still a lot of fluid left. Okay, so you can see I did get the nut out of the end of the ram. Uh, it's threaded in there. You can see the little kind of a plastic snap ring type of seal and a rubber o-ring. And sorry for the wind noise, but anyway, there's a, a wiper seal here, and then there's another seal inside of here 
that looks a lot like the wiper seal. I just can't remember exactly what it's called. Uh, this is the first time I've, I've do ever done this, so this is kind of a learning experience. But I'm pretty sure that there is a, another type of seal that's inside of this. And this end does not come off. So, that being said, I may end up having to pull the ram out of the cylinder and take the whole packing off to uh, replace that. And I'm thinking that had I known that I was going to end up pulling the packing off, even though this packing seems to be pretty good, I would have just bought the packing to go along with it, and that way I wouldn't ever have to worry about rebuilding it for a very, very long time. So, uh, lesson learned, I guess. Um, hopefully, everybody else learns from it too. We'll see, but uh, anyway, hold on a second. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull this cylinder out and see what I come up with. All right, so I'm gonna pull this cylinder out, pull this ram out if I can. Ooh, really don't wanna to have to put hydraulic pressure to it, but. Uh, I tried to break this line loose over here and I just, it will not break loose at all. That's for sure. Sit up in the air, it really didn't settle down in. But after getting the ramp out so I can change out the wiper seals, like I had said, hindsight 2020, uh, yeah, I wish I would have uh, just went ahead and opted for getting the packing. Dropped it in the dirt a little bit, so I got some dirt on it, which not a big deal, I can clean it. but. You look. Hold on, it's not focusing. This one seal here is disintegrating. There's some of it on the tip of my finger, and you can see it's supposed to be kind of like this, flat. 
but you can see I'm able to flake it away. And there's one just like that, another seal just like that right here. And it's doing the same thing. So, looks like we're gonna be another packing kit. And probably, being that this is gonna be the 4th of July week, it's gonna be till next week, till I can do anything with this. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. We're gonna see if we can get the other cylinder apart and get it closed off so that we don't get any kind of moisture in it just in case we get rain or something. Uh, anyway, stay tuned and see what happens.